Yo, what up, it's Don. Sam really here. We are the Soul Brothers. How are you guys doing? Uh, if you're in the market for a basketball shoe that's extremely non-durable. Uh, and these are the shoes to get, these right? Are the, these are the shoes. We'll link them all below, you know? Yeah. Have at it. Um, but yeah, so if you want like a long-lasting shoe, then you should probably stay away from these shoes. Yeah, some of them are definitely more less durable than others. Yes. Not all of these are straight horrendous as far as durability. Yes. Uh, but, uh, um, so let's get right into it. Yes, so starting off with this list, we'll start off with PG2. PG2, um, I mean, everything else is really good besides attraction. Yeah. And for my PG2, I think it was a 2.5. Uh, I only played indoors in that shoe. Do not play with these shoes outdoors. But in, indoors, I mean, the, the rubber is really soft. So that's an issue already. But with my PG 2.5s, I only played indoors and it, the rubber like was fraying off a lot in that, especially where that zoom unit is. And so yeah, durability of that outsole is really, really bad. Um, so Upper's pretty good that. though. Yeah, exactly. Which so, is chill, but. But if the, if the rubber's kind of like fraying off, especially like coming off in chunks, then yeah, it's a pretty big problem. So, anyways, so there's that. Tell us if you guys have experienced that. Mm -hmm. and tell us down in the comment section below. Um, but anyways, moving on to the next shoe is the Exodus. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, this shoe, the rubber is very soft. Has very, like, soft nub type of traction yeah. pattern. And um, I didn't really have any issues, like, of the nubs completely falling off. But I had some, like, fraying off pretty bad. And also... The um, you had you had like a problem with the thing. Yeah, where the I laces guess. come out, where the little eyelet uh, yeah. straps come out, they were kind of like popping out almost. So the uppers gonna have some issues as well. Yes. And, you know, so yeah, definitely not the most durable shoe. Uh, yep. All right, moving on to the next shoe is the Hyperdunk Ten or X. Mm -hmm. The rubber is very soft. Uh, also, that rubber frays off a good amount, and also the rub, uh, the upper is not very durable as well. I, I just felt it. I didn't really have any rips or anything, but like it stretches out a lot, and like while breaking it in, it, it there was like moments where I thought, like when you look at it, it just looks worn out. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? It I just, did. yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, um, not the most durable upper as well. So hyperdunk, not very good. Uh, for durability. Moving on to the next shoe is the Kyrie 4. Um, so my black pair of Kyrie 4s, I only play indoors and the rubber like frays off mm -hmm. a lot. And you have to, uh, you know, getting those nubs off, but like I ground down the Kyrie 4 traction a lot and it was only from indoor use. So um, definitely don't play with them outdoors. And also the upper is okay, but like uh, I do a lot of toe drags, and uh, I, I do the toe drags indoor on indoor courts, and the um, the EM. stitching, not the EM, but you know the, the like the toe guard suede material yeah, thing? That, oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. coming off. But and also some holes in that. Too. But also EM has had a history of yeah. of not being durable at all, like yeah. in the uh, Kobe Eleven EM. So yeah, uh, EMs are sometimes a little bit. A little bit shady, so exactly. Um, but the king of this list, yes, you guys already know, and it's the most expensive shoe out. Yes, so I mean, if you just want a great performer and that's it, then it's a good shoe to get. And you got money to burn, like yeah. me, then you know, I'm just, I only got one pair, exactly. But I'm having another one soon, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's it's gonna be, I think it's on sale already. Probably. You can find a good sale on it, that'd be dope. But it is the Kobe 360, you guys already know, we did a whole video on it. Um, but yeah, only on indoor use too. Do not use these outdoors. No, don't even step out outside. It, it'll explode. I actually rock them casually and yeah. that probably doesn't help, but uh, the nubs fray off like crazy. Yes. Uh, just with indoor use. Um, and the upper, it, you know, the, it's a super, super thin material. So it's just looking like crazy worn out. No holes yet. Uh, but one of the other big problems is the glue work uh, where the outsole attaches to the upper is bubbling and starting to peel off. So, you know, not durable at all. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so anyways, that's our list. But, I mean, these are all pretty good performers. Yeah. I think the best, my favorite would be the Kyrie 4. Yeah. And, but, yeah, if, if you're looking for a really durable shoe, then you should probably stay away from these. Yeah. Uh, but that's the video. Hope we helped you guys out, and we'll see you guys next time. Later.